surnames had not traveled to Azerbaijan, but I would like to remind you that during the closing ceremony of uh, the first European Games, which was held in Baku, Azerbaijani president asked the uh, audience to clap for Armenians and uh, people who won uh, the uh, uh, first uh, European Games. So my question is, we all understand that peaceful resolution of the conflict is vital for the security, stability and prosperity of the region. But when uh, you as the Prime Minister of one country visits internationally rec recognized uh, region of another country, Nagorno-Karabakh and when you say that Nagorno-Karabakh is Armenia period, how this helps to peaceful, peaceful negotiation process? Because the Azerbaijan president also responded that Azerbaijan is not going to respond to your question. Please, sir. Thank you. I made it for you. Thank you. Well, not to skip any. You didn't. Well, I'm just. Yeah, okay. First of all, it's about about bargains. You know, let's remember the time when Armenian. When Armenians were leaving Azerbaijan, and when, as a result of that, Azerbaijanis were leaving Armenia, I remember very well at that time. What why it has happened? Because Armenians in Azerbaijan were killed in some kind, in some kind of atrocities, starting to continue to Baku against Armenians and. First of all, and, and that spread to Nagorno-Karabakh, etc. And they not left Azerbaijan, they fled from Azerbaijan. Sometimes it even without clothes. But what happened with Azerbaijanis in Armenia? According to the decision, decision of Armenian government, some buses were, were provided to the Azerbaijani people, there were police escorts and no one, no one people, no one person, Azerbaijani, were damaged or, uh, uh, or uh, uh, hurt within that process. And it is very important and bright picture of the content of this whole, uh, whole uh, conflict about the uh, International. You, you said that Nagorno-Karabakh is internationally recognized part of Azerbaijan. It yes. isn't true, it is because true. there is internationally established negotiation format named OSCE, means Group for Chairmanship. And the mandate of that format is to decide on final status on Nagorno-Karabakh. Mm -hmm. Why? And you, you your, 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 your government, your country is involved in the negotiation process. So, if Nagorno-Karabakh is a part of Azerbaijan, internationally recognized, why are you negotiating for the decision, uh, for, for deciding the status of Nagorno-Karabakh? It, it, it isn't its strength. The other part, you, you said that you, uh, you are offering uh, uh, high status Nagorno for Nagorno Karabakh within the Azerbaijan. By the way, Nagorno Karabakh had already had that status. Nagorno Karabakh was autonomous region, and this status, I call it, I call it interim status, brought all of us to the to this conflict, to this bloody conflict. And to repeat, to 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 final, to repeat and to give or accept one more time this very same status, that means begin from zero, the same conflict in the same way. So what is your expectation? My expectation to Independence. find to find a solution, as I said, to find a solution, as I said. What is that? acceptable for people of Armenia, for people of Nagorno-Karabakh, and for people of, um, of uh, Azerbaijan. And 
on my uh, statement in Stepanaki. Before that, I made a statement, as I said, uh, I've just mentioned, and I was waiting for a year to hear something similar from Azerbaijani government, and I asked personally President Aliyev to make a similar statement to have a little, not very big, but a little breakthrough in negotiation process. But unfortunately, Azerbaijani government is continuing to claim that Zangezur, a Sunnit region of Armenia, is part of Azerbaijan. Yerevan, capital of independent Armenia, is an Azerbaijani city. Lake Seban, uh, lake which is in Armenia, is Azerbaijani lake, and they are continuing trading to to occupy not only Nagorno but also Sunni region, but also capital of the earth. So why we we are making similar statement because we don't want to uh, cast an impression of afraid, afraid nation or afraid people. No one is able to speak with us from position of force. And we, we are, we are, uh, we are, our proposal is peace. Our proposal is peace. We aren't uh, uh, using, we aren't threatening to anyone in our region and we are willing to prepare our nation, society, Azerbaijani people, people of Nagorno-Karabakh for peace and we, we, uh, we uh, propose our peace intention to Azerbaijani people. And personally, me, personally, me, I'm ready to start a dialogue not only with Azerbaijani government, but also with Azerbaijani people directly. And because I think we have many things to discuss. Thank you. Very, very good. Thanks. I don't want to thank you.